Hey guys, welcome to Lala's Kitchenette. I'm Chef Lala, and on this channel, I help people improve their cooking skills. On today's episode, we're making Cuban sliders, but the star of the show is this pork shoulder. So I have a bone-in pork butt, pork shoulder, which is called the butt if you're looking for it in the store. And I have seared this off on the grill with and then dry rubbed it. Well, dry rubbed it, seared it on the grill, outside charcoal grill. We have this little brick fire pit. We just put charcoal in it, put the oven grate on it. It's awesome. And I just seared it off to get some smokiness on there. And then I braised it in my awesome braising liquid for about four hours. I let it rest, uncovered it, and now we're ready to make an amazing rendition of a Cuban sandwich. And today we're doing sliders. And of course I'll get more into the detail of my dry rub recipe and what I put in my braising liquid and the whole technique and like the oven tap and all that stuff. But I have Hawaiian sweet rolls, I have ham, I have just plain black forest ham, Swiss cheese, I have some bread and butter sweet pickles, and then of course my onions. I, I threw some, some onions on the grill after we pulled that pork off and just grilled them real nice, chopped them up to go on there also. And of course, I have aioli with whole grain mustard and Dijon, and that's gonna be our spread. And of course, like a traditional Cuban sandwich has a really nice, strong, spicy mustard, so I mix whole grain and Dijon mustards into my aioli. And that'll give it a little bit of creaminess and that like spiciness from the mustard also. So, let's get this on. We're gonna toast our slider rolls. But first we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna have to slice this up, put it in a sheet pan, toast it, just on the cut side. But yeah, let's shred off some of our pork so we're ready for making our sliders. Alright, let's shred some pork. So, like I said, I seared this off on the grill, I dry rubbed it. And I'll put a, some of the ratios of my dry rub. I'll put that in the description below. And I braised it at a, in a 325 degree oven for four hours. And look, it's like pulling right apart, like really perfectly. It smells amazing. That like fat cap melted into it beautifully. And these are going to be really amazing sliders. I've been thinking about like summer and cookouts and barbecuing and like shareable things like this you know pull apart sliders cuban sliders mm. but mostly i wanted to share um you know this pork cooking technique in case that's something like that you're intimidated by or you haven't done before you're unsure of so that i could help you along the way so as you can see, having braised it, it's like all buttery. It's like shredding apart into perfect strings. And I'm barely using any pressure. I'm just, you know, breaking up the bigger pieces. And man, this smells amazing. My dry rub had, um, I like it to be sort of smoky and spicy, but I use pretty traditional pork dry rub ingredients. Um, I use some crushed chipotle peppers for a little smoky kick and yeah like garlic powder paprika a little bit of chili powder onion powder mustard powder um a smidge of whole fennel seed i rubbed on there but yeah it's an awesome dry rub and hopefully you try it and enjoy it but yeah i know this isn't like the traditional bread to serve a Cuban sandwich off but I thought like a sweet roll like these Hawaiian sweet rolls would be really great for this or even like brioche rolls because of how salty everything is like you've got ham we got pork we got like onions we got our mustard and then we, the sweet pickles and the bread will kind of like cut through that and kind of balance it out and so we got our creaminess and the cheese and then the aioli with the mustards in it and the rest is the saltiness and I just thought the sweet roll would be really delicious so Looks like our pork is was very easy to shred. It smells amazing. And let's go ahead and we'll, I'm gonna throw some of our nice marinade braising liquid on there just to keep it nice and moist. 
and I used olive oil, cider vinegar, um, out, kind of a lot of stuff, but I'll include that in the description also. It's like a little bit sweet, just a hint of sweetness though. Mostly spicy and like a little bit of acidity. It's just really nicely balanced and I think you'll enjoy it. So I'll make sure I include that for you guys. Stir in that little bit of braising liquid I poured on there. All right, man, this smells like summer. It smells like the charcoal from the grill. It's got that charred, smoky, sweet saltiness. It's just filling up the whole kitchen right now and it smells amazing. Even the, the pup is coming to check it out. That's my baby Opal over there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave this as a whole, like one piece, and I'm just gonna slice it down the middle with a serrated knife. And just go real slow. Don't wanna tear it up. It'll be nice and level. All right, so we got that cut in half. And we're gonna just stick this under the broiler for a couple minutes till it gets a little bit of color. And we'll be right back to put these awesome Cuban sliders together. All right, so we got our sweet Hawaiian rolls nice and toasty. I'm spreading our aioli and mustard mixture on the nice toasted insides of the bread. We got our perfectly seared and braised pork over here. And I'm going to spread this on the bread with a rubber spatula, scrape off the excess, you know, just a little coating. And we can start assembling our beautiful Cuban sliders. It smells awesome. I love Hawaiian sweet rolls. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Like, just amazing. Scrape that little excess off on there. And yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I also grilled the ham. Like, see how this top layer of ham is darker? It's because I threw it on the grill after I took the pork off and after I took the onions off. I threw the ham on there just to, you know, get it that nice smoky flavor that we love. So, I'm going to top both sides. I'm just going to put, you know, a layer of cheese on the, this side. And of course, you know, if you're wondering how to make this aioli, you can look at my aioli video. Um, if you're wondering how to build the perfect sandwich, you can check out my perfect Italian sub video. I'll uh, include those both in the end screen of today's video. But yeah, we're just going to do our layer of ham on the bottom. We'll do cheese. We'll do cheese on the top too. Also. And yeah, like this is just going to be the awesome, like think about like potlucks and family dinners and barbecues, like something you want to bring something to share. This is one of those awesome things. Like this is going to be a dozen sliders. So, and they're really cute. They're fun to eat. They're easy to eat. This is the bomb. This is the bomb.com guys. <laughs> and yes, I plan on using as much of this Swiss cheese as will fit, but you guys already knew that. <laughs> you know how I feel about cheese. I think by now. Yeah, we'll just tuck all this ham in there. Beautiful. This is looking amazing, smelling amazing. And hopefully, you know, by the end of the video and once I've included, you know, more of the recipe and like the braising instructions and the dry rub and my nice, um, you know, the braising liquid that I use and how delicious that was, you'll have a really good idea of how to make something really awesome like this and like put your own twist on it. And yeah, that's what we're all about here. Teach you the basics. You just run with it. You make it your own. So I am going to put cheese here. This is going to be the lid. So I'm just going to like flip it over there to put on top. Swiss cheese. We're just overlapping it. So that was six pieces. And then I'm going to put our onions, our nice grilled onions that I grilled and then I chopped, put it on here. I'll put cheese on top of that. And then we'll put the pickles in the middle of all this amazing, wonderful, flavor. I'm gonna get our pork on there also. That should be enough of the onions. Of course, grilled onions are so delicious. They're smoky, sweet, 
got a little bit of caramelization on them. They got that like little bit charcoal flavor. It's amazing. It's amazing. No complaints from anybody on that. I'm pretty sure. So get this on there. And I did turn I turned the broiler off. I turned it down to bake 350 because we're just the next time we're putting it in, we're just melting the cheese. So a beautiful pork. Oh man. Ridiculous. Ridiculously good. Fell off the bone so easily. I didn't even have to like shred it. I just kind of mushed it and the grains fell apart. The grain of the meat separated perfectly. So, and of course I saved some of that awesome braising liquid, that little tangy, sweet, salty, mostly savory, smoky, and spicy, but a hint of sweetness in the background. I did use a, a like teeny bit of tomato paste in my braising liquid. This is gonna be so good. So yeah, then I'll put a layer of cheese on this pork, and then we'll put cheese, okay, yeah, pork, cheese, and then once it comes out of the oven from the cheese melting, that's when we'll throw the pickles on. So we'll have that like cold crunch to kind of break up all this crunchy, melting, like savory, awesome situation we have going on here. So about to call it quits on that pork. <laughs> Want these to be able to support their own weight <laughs> when they're cut apart. <laughs> but man, my mouth is like watering right now because it smells so amazing. And like this pork came out awesome and you can make awesome pork too. And hopefully this video of tips will help you. Don't be scared. You can cook that big cut of meat. It's a little TLC. It's all it needs. A little technique. Got this. I believe in you. Plus, you know, I'm always here. If you want to, you have something you want to ask in the comments, I will answer right away. So please don't hesitate to ever ask follow up questions. I love reading your comments. I love hearing them and I love responding right away. So if you're in the middle of cooking, I will be right there for you. Okay. Yay. Awesome. And we're just going to put this back in the oven until we get this nice and toasted. Get this nice and melted so it all sticks together. So we'll see you in a minute for some amazing Cuban sliders. All right, so come check it out. We got our perfect Cuban sliders on our awesome Hawaiian rolls. We got our aioli, our mustards, our whole grain and Dijon mustard, our pork, our ham, and our Swiss cheese melted on there. So we're ready to finish assembling these. Go ahead and lay out some of these beautiful, crunchy, sweet bread and butter pickles. Cut through some of that fat and acidity, all the richness. Man, these are going to be amazing. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with this. Because I'm excited. Then we'll flip over our top top buns right there. Yeah, all right. And then, you know, you get your serrated knife and you just cut along the, the separations of the roll. So cut it into rows this way and then cut it this way. This is awesome, warm, soft Hawaiian rolls. Don't rush it cutting through your whole slab of sliders. Just go nice and slow. That ham in the bottom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. All right. Hopefully this looks awesome. You can really see all those great ingredients we got in there. Thank you for joining me in my tiny kitchen. Hopefully you make some awesome sliders one of these times soon. Peace out. It's Lala.